Hi everyone and welcome to the Kid Story Room. I'd like to give a shout out this episode to Naomi and Leo. Naomi sent me a truly special email and it made my heart sing. So hi Naomi and Leo. I'm so glad you're enjoying our stories and I love the Winky song. Thank you. I'd also like to give a shout out to Lauren from Wales who sent us an amazing message. Thank you, Lauren. We hope that we can continue to produce stories that you love to listen to. Now, today, we have a wonky wardrobe poem for a very special friend of Kids Story Room. It's for Melody. Hi, Melody. And it's about some marvellous mittens. Melody's Marvellous Mittens by Anastine Melody's mittens were marvellous. They were black and orange and magenta. And on the inside of the palms was a green spot in the centre. When Melody pressed that spot, the mittens sprang to life. Then those mittens did everything to help Melody get into strife. They started by making Melody walk everywhere on her hands. Her feet were wobbling everywhere, spinning round like ceiling fans. She walked all the way to school like that and somehow didn't kick her friends. She had to duck around them with a few impressive backbends. When she got to school, Melody climbed the biggest tree. Using nothing but her mittens, her feet were completely free. How did you do that? Her friends were amazed. Oh, it's just my marvellous mittens, said Melody, unfazed. They're really, really marvellous. They can do anything. But the one thing they didn't do was hear the school bell ring. All the kids went into class, but the mittens pulled Melody away. They weren't ready to sit down. Those mittens wanted to play. Instead of going to maths, the mittens flew Melody to space. Together they counted Saturn's rings, and on a comet they did race. Then the mittens took a dive to the bottom of the sea, where they met with several hermit crabs and even set a couple free. Their houses had become a little small for the hermits' growing backs, and so the mittens pulled them off so their claws did not get cracked. Melody and her mittens helped find the crabs' new houses, then they went zooming off to get Melody new trousers. They had dived so fast into the sea that Melody had lost her pants. And the next adventure was, of course, to have dinner with some ants. So Melody, with her new trousers on, found herself shrunk to antish size and was sitting inside an ant hill eating the crumbs of yummy pies. When ant size Melody was full, the mittens blew her back up not back to normal human size, but to the height of a little pup. Then the mittens thought it was fun to take Melody back to school, but not straight back to class. No, no, it was time for a swim in the pool. The mittens leapt in with Melody, who was as tiny as a cat. A teacher who was walking by thought she'd seen a rat. She shrieked and shrieked and rang the bell. The whole school came out to look. The mittens thought it was funny to turn Melody into a chook. Her friends all chased her round the yard. They didn't know who she was. But they all did stop and wonder why the chook was wearing gloves. Eventually they caught her and popped her in a box. But the mittens didn't like that and turned Melody into a fox. Out of the box she leapt, swishing her fluffy tail. Her friends were looking very shocked and some had gone quite pale. Enough now? whispered Melody to her naughty but marvellous mittens. You've got to turn me back or my whole class will have kittens. The mittens decided to agree, only because they were tired, and they turned Melody back to human size in a way that was truly inspired. First, a rainbow burst out of the mittens and her whole class clambered on. They went for a magnificent ride before they all turned into swans. They soared above the school in a beautiful curved line, then flew back down to class to transform back just in time. The lunch bell was ringing. It was time to go and play. 
Melody's class were shocked. Some of them were starting to sway. The teacher said to Melody, Should you take those mittens off? I mean, I know that they are marvellous, but aren't your hands quite hot? Yes, puffed Melody. It's true. My hands are really burning. I'll take them off right now so I can stay and do some learning. The teacher smiled at Melody. I think you've been learning heaps. But it's nice to have you here in class. You're one of our favourite peeps. Melody smiled and slid her mittens off her very hot hands. They were really great for adventures and visiting strange and wonderful lands. But for now, it was time for school and for playing with her friends. And if she left those mittens on, they might all go round the bend. She popped the mitts in her school bag and went out to the yard to play. Her friends laughed and called her over. It was really a marvellous day. We hope that you enjoyed that wonky wardrobe poem melody. Thanks everyone for listening and please leave us a review and subscribe to our podcast. We're doing lots of work behind the scenes and trying to get more stories together for you to enjoy. So please support us and let us know that you're listening. Thanks everyone. Bye. Bye.